Hey guys, it is Paul Farmer from PaulGFarmer.com. And uh, this week, this week's been really crazy. I've had my mother-in-law here, had uh, friends here, company. And uh, it's been really, really challenging to get the things done that I want to get done with my business, but I've been able to do it. But anyway, um, what the question I want to ask you today, okay, aside from that, you know, we've been running around all over the place, going out to eat, going all these different places. So it's been really busy. I haven't had a lot of time to really focus on my business, but uh, here's the question I want to ask you, okay, because I have actually gone through this experience. And what it is, is what if you couldn't get a job? What if you couldn't get a job and you needed money? What would you do? What if you couldn't get a job and you needed money that month? What would you do? And um, having gone through this experience already uh, back in 2010, 2010, I was laid off from my teaching job and um, I couldn't find a teaching job anywhere. I couldn't find anything because the market was so bad just budget cuts happening everywhere I couldn't find a teaching job so literally I had no other choice but to come online there were no jobs so um, you know I've, I've had my back against the wall quite a few times and this is what I see happens okay people use their job as a crutch or the very first thing they think is I need to get a job. A job is going to solve everything for me. And I'm not against getting a job, okay? A job, put food on the table, I understand all that. What I'm saying here is what if you're in a position where you can't get a job, okay? You've been trying, you've been putting your application out there, you've been going on interviews, and nothing is coming. What are you going to do, okay? So, and let's just say... For the sake of it, you're already online. You're already you already have a business. You're either in a network marketing business or you're in some kind of online business that pays you a commission. So you can't find a job. You have an option with your business. What are you going to do? Because this is what I see happen. When people have a job, they're too relaxed. They're too comfortable. Because instead of going, hey, you know what? I have a job. I have income coming in. I could take part of my income and start putting it towards my marketing and build my business so I can have something on the side or something that will even take over my job. Instead of doing that, they just spend all their money from their job and they don't do anything with their business. And, and I've witnessed this. I've seen this so many times. So my question is what if you didn't have that what if you didn't have that crutch what if you couldn't fall back on a job and you had to show up for your business would you make the excuses you're making now would you say you don't have time would you go oh, i don't know how to do it would you say it's too hard remember you gotta put food on the table and it needs to be there this month I want you to think about this because when you're in that position, it's either you make it work or you're on the street, okay? Or, you know, maybe you need to borrow money or something, but it's not a good position to be in. But that position will make or break you. And it, and it will make or break you because you have to perform. You have nothing to fall back on. So if you start taking, like put, putting that in your mind, right? Thinking that way. And you start thinking that way about your business that you have right now currently. That, hey, you know what? I'm hungry. There's no food in the fridge. I need to work. I need to make this thing work. And you have a job now. And you put that kind of effort into your business. You won't need to have the job very long. What I see, though, is people like, oh, well, I had to work, so I couldn't attend that. Or I had to work, so I, I, I couldn't do anything because I had to work. Yet they have no money. Do you see the problem here? This is a bad problem, okay? You're working at a job you don't want to be at, and you're not making enough money, and you're not doing anything to change your circumstances because you're comfortable, okay? I've been there. I know what it feels like. But you have to fight through that because your freedom 
when I say freedom, I mean financial freedom. I mean a freedom from going to a job unless you want to go to a job. There are people that love their job, but the majority of people hate their job. They don't want to be at their job. They want to be with their family. They don't want to be doing anything else. Let's not lie about it, okay? Let's just be honest. If you don't like your job, you're looking for something different. Maybe you already have a business. Why aren't you treating it like a business? Why aren't you treating that like it's your ticket to freedom, your ticket out? Instead of making excuses after excuses after excuses. It's too hard. I don't have time. No, I don't like the way things are, but I'm not willing to do anything to change it. Why do you do that? Okay, I'm speaking to you. If you have a job right now and you have a business online and you're sitting there like, I don't know what to do. When there's tons of training out there, there's tons of step-by-step, -step, yet that's not enough. You know, our team, we have step-by-step -step training. We have everything anyone could ever possibly want, but I still get people coming to me and going, I don't have time, or, and they have no money. They have no money. They're working, I don't know how many hours a day, and they have no money, and they're making these excuses. They're basically throwing away their ticket to freedom is what they're doing. Okay. Now, I know this sounds harsh, but sometimes we need to hear it. And let me tell you, I have been in the position where I couldn't get a job. I couldn't get a job. There were no jobs. Okay, The only jobs that there were were not going to solve my problems. There was no way. I wasn't going to make enough money. It was almost pointless. Okay, So what did I have to do? I had to put my head down. I had to focus. And I had to make it happen. And I couldn't have any excuses. There were no excuses. I just had to make it happen. And I did. I did. I made thousands in a month instead of just a little tiny amount because I decided to make it happen. I decided to stop making excuses. I decided to stop being a victim. I decided to be successful. Okay. I decided to make it happen. I had no other choice. So when you're put in that position where you have no other choice... Like I said, it's either going to make you or it's going to break you. But I'm going to tell you something. You get through that situation, you become a different person. Because you know damn well you can do it now. You know you can do it. And that's a whole different thing than going, oh, I don't know what to do. I'm a victim. Everything happens to me. It's bad. And it's not my fault because I don't know. I don't know what to do, right? And, and you, I have no time. I have no money. I'm a victim. I, I can't take responsibility. I have no self-discipline. I have to have my hand held. I have to have people telling me what to do. I have to ask for permission to go to the bathroom. I like sitting in traffic. But stop with the lies. Stop with the BS. You know? So take it seriously. You have a ticket to freedom. Ticket to freedom. Why are you wasting it? I know I'm being harsh on this video. I know I am. And I know I'm going to get some, some people, you know, not too happy with what I'm saying. But this is the truth. This is the absolute truth. If you couldn't get a job, what would you do? Think about it. And if you have a job now, start thinking about it like that. If I couldn't get a job, what would I do? Well, I have my online business. Why don't I take the time to learn what I need to learn to become financially free. So I don't have to go to my job anymore. Makes sense to me. I know I'm kind of repeating myself. I don't want to do that anymore. Um, just real quick, just real quick, um, I have a coaching group and it's uh, it's called DB Freedom Project, okay? DB Freedom Project, come to Facebook. And all you gotta do is type in DB Freedom Project, come down, join the group. I will approve you. Come to the big start here box, click on continue reading, and uh, just go through the training. This is step-by-step -step training. If you truly want to be free from your job, or maybe you can't find a job, or whatever, um, this will show you exactly what to do. Now, I also want to let you know that our team, our team has a mastermind. We're going through a 120-day mastermind right now. It is available to our team, to anybody on our team. Um, it is an optional thing, but what this is doing is it's, it's bringing people together and showing them exactly what they need to do to be successful online. Exactly what they need to do, okay? We have one-on-one uh, -on -one coaching available, 
and it's really a powerful thing and we are seeing some awesome results we are seeing newbies brand new people who have never ever had a single sale ever ever making sales okay because of this mastermind because of what's being taught because of the support that is provided Okay, so if you, if you want to make a full-time residual income online and you'd like to be able to, you know, maybe you want to get away from your job. Maybe you don't. I don't know. Maybe you just want some extra money. Um, click on the link right below this video. Check it out. And uh, you're going to see what our team is about. Um, you're going to see what the opportunity is about. And uh, go ahead and just get started. And let's get you plugged in and get you going in the right direction. Okay. As you can see, I take this very seriously. I don't play games. I want to see you free, okay? I want to see you have financial freedom. Whatever that means to you. Does that mean 500 bucks a month extra? I don't know. Does that mean 1,000 bucks extra, 2,000, 5,000? I don't know what that means, but I know we can get you there, okay? So thanks for watching. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you on the next one.